everyone. I'm back again with a new topic and that is pronouns. And what are pronouns? Pronouns are words that we use in place of nouns. For example, as you can see, I have written some sentences on the board. Rina is a girl. Rina is my friend. I like to play with Rina. Rina and I play in the park every day. So see, I've used Rina so many times and I'm repeating it again and again. Rina, Rina, Rina. That doesn't sound nice and even while writing, it doesn't look nice. So what do we do? We can use another word in place of Rina. And that word which I'm going to use in place of Rina, that will be called as a pronoun. Now, for example, the first time when I introduce my sentence, it is fine. Rina is a girl. Now, the second time when I'm saying Rina is my friend, I can use the word she over here. She is my friend. So this word she that I have used is called as a pronoun. And it is not always she. There are other various forms also. I like to play with Rina. So this will become I like to play with her. She, her, again pronouns. Then Rina and I play in the park every day. Again I am using the word Rina. And I am already talking about Rina. So instead of saying Rina and I, we can simply use the word we. We play in the park every day. We is plural. She and her were singular. singular. So these words that we use in place of nouns are called as pronouns. And there are different kinds of pronouns. We will just be looking at the list of the pronouns. Out of those, three we shall be covering up today and three we shall cover up in part two of pronouns. And the different kinds of pronouns are personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, interrogative pronouns, relative pronouns and reflexive pronouns. So let us look at the first kind of pronoun and that is personal pronoun. Personal pronouns. They are used in place of persons, animals or things. Here we have again subcategories. Three types of personal pronouns. We call them as the first person, the second person and the third person. First person means who is speaking. I or if more than one. So we can say we. So we or I we are the ones, those who are speaking. Now, to whom are we speaking? I, you. I'm speaking to someone. Someone is there in front of me. So it becomes I and you. Or more than one person is there in front of me. Then again, it will be again you. The plural of you also we say is you or sometimes we also say you all. Now, when these two are talking about a third person or more than three persons over there, it can be whom? Suppose I am talking, someone is there with me and both of us are talking about a boy. So, whom are we talking about? He, if it's a girl, she, if it is an animal, it or more than two, more than three over there. So, we call them as they. So, it can be he, she, it and the plural is they. So, these are the different kinds of pronouns in the category of personal pronouns. Now let us look at some few examples. As you can see, the very first sentence, mother has gone to office. She works in a bank. So instead of mother, singular, again feminine, so we've used she. Then the next one, Dimple and Simple are sisters. We are again going to refer to them. We did not again say that Dimple and Simple are twins. We've simply said they are twins. The next one, Please ask Deepu to meet me. I want to speak to him. So I told someone else that go and tell him. Then again, mother will take Nita and Priya to the market. She, she is the word which I've used in place of mother. She will buy them, them in place of Nita and Priya. She will buy them new dresses. Mohan has a new bag. Bag is a non-living thing. No he, no she. So we use it. It is blue in color. The next kind of pronouns 
and they are possessive pronouns. These pronouns are used to show that something belongs to someone. It can also be plural. For example, you can just see even on your screen and even on the board, mine, yours, his, hers, ours and theirs and the examples are right in front of you. This pen is mine. That means it belongs to me. This chalk is mine. The chalk belongs to me. That book is hers. A girl. So this belongs to her. So instead of using the name, you simply said this book is, that book is hers. These, now it's plural. So these books are ours and those are yours. Ronnie and Sunny are my neighbors. The red house is theirs. Possession, they own that house. Possession means owning something, something belongs to you. I lost my pen, so Rishabh gave me his. Instead of saying Rishabh gave me his pen, we just make it short by saying Rishabh gave me his. And the next kind of pronouns that we are going to cover up are demonstrative pronouns. These pronouns are used to point out to people or things or animals. For example, this, these, that, those. And how do we use them? Sentence is right in front of you. This is my friend, Amit. That is such a cute looking dog. These are my books. Those are Ravi's shirts. Now, and we've already covered up the different kinds of adjectives in our previous video. And one of the kinds of adjectives is a demonstrative adjective. And demonstrative adjectives are also the same. This, that, these and those. So how do we know whether what we are using is a demonstrative adjective or a demonstrative pronoun? Or simply we can say what is the difference between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronoun? So let's have a look at the difference also. I have these two sentences written. I have a lot of toys, but this toy is my favorite. I have a lot of toys, but this is my favorite. The very first time when we read it, they both look the same, they both sound the same, but there is a little difference. Let us see. The first sentence, I have a lot of toys, but this toy is my favorite. Now, this word that we have used over here, this, it is qualifying the toy. It is exactly before the word toy. And what is toy? Which part of speech is it? Toy is a noun. So anything that adds something more to the meaning of a noun or tells you something more about a noun, that is called as an adjective. So the word this that we have used over here, this is an adjective and this is a demonstrative adjective and remember demonstrative adjectives are always placed exactly before the noun this toy this book that toy those book those toys now the next sentence i have a lot of toys exactly like the first one but this is my favorite now the word this that i have used over here i have used in the place of this toy i have not used any noun after this so that's simply a demonstrative pronoun. Little difference, but very easy to find out. If there is a noun after the word this, that, these, those, then that's demonstrative adjective. If there is no noun, then it is a demonstrative pronoun. For the next example, you can see, I tried these pastries. Again, pastries is a noun. Before that, I have these. So that's demonstrative adjective or these are very tasty. Now, these could be these pastries, these burgers, these pizzas, whatever. But there is no noun. I'm just saying these are very tasty. So, this time, these is demonstrative pronoun. Similarly, those shoes are new. What am I talking about? Those shoes. I'm pointing out to those shoes. Shoes is a noun. So, that's demonstrative adjective. And those are new shoes. After those, there's no noun over there. So that's simply a demonstrative pronoun. So these are the three types of pronouns that we're going to cover today. The personal pronouns, the possessive pronouns and demonstrative pronouns. So now time to put all that we have just seen into action, into your exercise session. So 
exercise right in front of you very easy just pick out the pronoun and name them and since we have covered up just three types of pronouns today your answers will definitely be any one of these three Answer time. Answers all in front of you. Very easy as you can just see. Compare your answers with them. Tally them. I'll just go to sentence number three. That is a very old dress. Again, after that, there is no noun. So just to remind you of the difference that we saw between demonstrative pronoun and demonstrative adjective. So that's it for today. And of course, you know it. There is definitely going to be a practice session after this also in the link in the description box. So do give it a try and till we meet again in our next video where we shall be covering up the next three pronouns that are left. So goodbye and take care.